If you're going to be a successful investor in the stock market, you need to have three best friends. Now the problem is, is that most of people only like one of those friends because the other two friends are super boring. I talk about them all the time. One of those friends is diversity and the other friend is patience. Everybody thinks they're losers and they don't care about them. But today I'm going to talk about the friend that everybody loves. Even your super conservative grandma loves this friend and that friend is of course dividends. Who doesn't love dividends and what the hell are they? Dividends are very easy to understand. You think about it like this. Companies go through a bunch of phases in their cycle. So when they start they're small, they're growing, they need all the extra money they're making to put back into the business. But once companies get to a certain size, they're basically just always making money. They know how much they're going to make. They have too much money on hand. So what they do is they pay dividends out to their shareholders because they don't need to grow anymore. Now typical companies that do this are usually in a few different sectors. There's like financial companies pay dividends, oil and gas and basic materials, utility companies and healthcare and pharmaceutical companies generally pay dividends. So basically all you really need to think about is companies that just print money all the time. They're the ones that pay dividends. And generally speaking, dividends are paid out once a quarter. Sometimes that's different. And they sort of vary in the range of 2 to 4%, depending on, you know, a bunch of different things. One thing to understand is that dividends are not guaranteed to be paid. The company doesn't have to pay them. However, if they don't pay a dividend, then shareholders are going to get scared and they're going to sell off their shares. So they always try to keep their shareholders happy by paying dividends. Now, dividends are awesome in any life cycle of you with your investments. If you're growing your investment portfolio, they're great because they're making regular payouts and what they're going to do is they're going to buy more units. So even if your shares value goes down, you're still going to be making dividends and they're going to buy more shares at a lower value. When you're retired, you can use dividends as part of your income stream. It's fairly stable. You sort of understand how much it's going to pay and it's more tax efficient than bonds or GICs. But what you do need to understand is that the value of those shares can go down. So if it goes down significantly, your dividend payout is going to be less. That's why you need to keep all three of your best friends, remain patient, own a whole bunch of different types of stocks and bonds, and use dividends to your advantage and you'll be happy.